Hello, Captain Ethan Whitehall, Company D, Second US Sharpshooters. Today, I'm gonna to give you a very quick and easy and very inexpensive way to make your leathers go from the natural color to this very rich black color using what's called vin uh, iron dye or vinegaroon. All you need is a mason jar, distilled white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, doesn't really matter, and steel wool in about a week. So to make your iron dye, take steel wool, Better if it's uh, soaked in acetone first. Um, it just kind of gets some of the oils and you wanna just kind of separate it. Make sure you have as much uh, surface area on your steel wool uh, to be coated. So just grab a little bit more. So with a little jar like this, probably, you know, it's kind of eyeball it. Um, there is ways that you know how after a week, if it smells strongly of vinegar, you need more steel wool. If there's still steel wool but no vinegar smell, you need more vinegar. If there's no smell and your vinegar is gone, that's how you know your iron dye is absolutely perfect. So let me just sweep this up real quick and drop that in there. So take your iron, or sorry, take your stilled white vinegar and just pour that in. It's uh, preferred that this is warmed up, uh, not boiling, but just to a very good, um, almost room temperature, I would say, probably about I did mine, I think, at 100 degrees with the kitchen thermometer that my roommate so graciously let me borrow. So after that, you have your steel wool. You just want to make sure it's all covered. You then take your uh, a piece of saran wrap and you cover it, uh, rubber band it, punch some holes in it. If you don't do that, you're going to have gases build up and the jar won't explode, but it will explode through the saran wrap. Uh, unfortunately, one of my roommates uh, discovered a jar of iron dye with the entire area around it covered. Um, so after that, you just set it off to the side, wait a week, uh, strain it quite a few times through plenty of coffee filters. Uh, there will be some sediment in the bottom from the dissolved iron. Um, the technical term for this is called ferrous acetate. It's an acid with iron. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. And luckily we went the Martha Stewart route and had some already pre-made. Uh, you'll just need a dauber and your glass jar filled with iron dye. You don't want to use metal cans, anything like that, because it will eat through the metal and eventually corrode it. Obviously, we're dissolving metal with a liquid you don't want to put in a metal container. Uh, take your dauber. Some people prefer to use a lighter, burn off the little stray hairs. I haven't had a problem with that, really. Uh, so this one's just left the way it is. Just kind of get it soaked. And of course you want to wring it out. You don't want to have this huge mess. Um, it doesn't really react with the skin or stain it any. It will when you're making it. Uh, you get this really nasty, rusty sludge on top. Um, that's good. That means your iron dye is working. Take your piece of leather and you just drag it across. And the results are almost instant. Um, it will start off as this gray color. However, you just put it on more and more. Um, the best way, or the way to get your best results is to uh, pre-treat your leather with rubbing alcohol. It kind of gets rid of any of the uh, tanning process uh, chemicals that are on it. Um, make sure you also get, especially with your period leathers, um, cap pouches, belts, cartridge boxes, um, even your canteen slings. You want to get that edge dye. You can tell a really poorly made uh, reproduction because the edge of your leathers are not done. So this one's just having a little difficulty. Um, don't think this, uh, we pre-treated this with rubbing alcohol, but for senses of the video, this was iron dye and this is actually how it comes uh, after you're done with it. So once uh, this soaks for a good 20 minutes and it turns a very nice black color, you wanna take uh, warm water, dissolve baking soda until the baking soda is just barely dissolving and soak this for about 20 minutes. Um, you'll see all sorts of wacky bubbles and there will be some, water, uh, some of the water looking this kind of uh, pale gray or pale black, dark gray floating around. Um, once the bubbles have stopped, you take it out, uh, let the leather dry. Once the leather is almost dry, take your favorite uh, oil conditioner. I used Obanoffs on this, but Neat's Foot Oil, anything like that, and you should get a very dark, rich black. 
Iron dye is one of those weird uh, chemicals though where it actually reacts with other uh, uh, materials. Anything with tannin in it, that's what the iron dye reacts with or ferrous acetate. Also reacts with oak. This was a untreated piece of oak, uh, natural, no oils, no stains or anything. That is the original color of it. And over time, uh, about 10 minutes, it actually changed color to this uh, brownish black uh, color of wood. So uh, we've definitely found a new way to stain woods and stuff like that. So I'm sure this will be a very interesting product to see uh, what our first sergeant can create now with iron dye. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. Um, and if you like what you see and would like to get more content on Civil War reenacting, sharpshooters, and how-tos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.